You disappeared. Are you okay? I went over this months ago in Phoenix. TF 29's North America Division. Everything should be there in that report. The report has a few areas that aren't clear. The operational details are there, but there's not a lot about your personal interactions with Agent Hector Guerrero. Specifically, what happened to him. Is this a witch hunt, Doctor? Because I feel like I've been under the microscope since London. Adam, this interview has nothing to do with that. We're just trying to clarify what happened in Arizona nine months ago. Just relax. Tell me what happened, what you remember about that mission one more time, and we can put this to bed. You want me to tell you a story? Okay. Well, let's get this over with. I'm listening. It was my first undercover mission for TF-29. They had me undercover as an inmate inside an all a supermax known as the Penthouse. Penthouse approach. Phoenix Flight Control requesting handoff of automated transport. How copy? Reading your five, Phoenix. Onboard AP is disengaged. Handoff complete. Tower has control. Copy that. Have a better one. received intel suggesting terror attacks on several pro law groups in the U.S. If it proved out, the loss of life would have been staggering. Agent Guerrero was the only one who could confirm if that intel was solid, but he was Dark Opal, already in the prison, undercover, and out of contact. Would you consider this mission high risk? The job is the job. What else is there to say? I'm just wondering at the amount of stress such a mission might put on someone. It must be difficult. Try and keep up, asshole. We're agents, Doctor. We handle our roles as we need to. So you were taken into processing? Open the block! All inmates are stripped of their augmented abilities on arrival. I had some idea of what to expect inside that place. But let's just say, I should have been better prepared. Okay, data's in, ID's verified. Last name Walters, first name Derek, middle name... Jesus. I think they pronounce it Jesus. Uh, Stanger, you, you might want to come take a look at this. What is it? Take a look at this hardware. Full arm leg prosthetic replacement. Energy converter. I don't even know what that is. He's a real deal hot rod, isn't he? What do you think? They look mil-spec almost? Oh, definitely. I mean, these were made with love. I mean, look, right there, you can made see on the- love? Hey, fucking cookies. What do we know about him? First timer, it looks like. Doing a five-year bid for aggravated assault and negligent homicide. Oh, uh, he's being transferred up north in a few days to our big brother. Kind of relaxed for a first timer. Too big for paradise, maybe, huh? Hot rod. Waste any time getting to know you, then can we? You uh, you, you want him on the list? No, but I want to keep an eye on him. See where he goes, who he talks to. Upload the virus. Uh, it's not a virus. Uh, technically, it's much more. It could be a monkey riding a poodle up his ass for all I give a shit, eh, kid? As long as it shuts him down. Clear. Yes, sir. Uploading now.
suppression biochip doodad in your noodle. Just think of it as a housewarming gift from the great state of Arizona. We don't need you using your superpowers in here. Welcome to your new reality, Hot Rod. Better get used to it. No inmates pass this line. Hold on. You want thin ice. The pain you experienced, it was from the chip they implanted during processing, right? Yeah, it kicked in if I even thought of using any of my augs. So you were inside, stripped of your augs, no badge, no backup, and the clock was ticking on the terrorist threat? What did you do next? I knew from the brief that Guerrero was in B-Block using the name Oscar Mejia. To get to him, I needed to keep a low profile, blend in, and follow prison protocols. All right, Clegs. Level three's rush time in the yard begins now. Play nice and steer clear of restricted areas. Looking for any justification is a personal part of your life. This facility will not drop the shower room. It's off limits until further notice. Trading is how you get things in here. Shitting me, Johnson. Andy fucking Johnson. <laughs> do I know you? Do you? Do you know me? Do you believe this clown? Yeah, you know me, you piece of shit. Theodore Zenka, Detroit, 2022. You busted my ass at the Howie Bazaar Club for sleeping with underage hookers, remember? You've got the wrong guy. Don't lie to me, bot. You threw me down a flight of stairs. My head at every fucking step. You don't forget something like that. Ain't no problem, is there, D-Town? How about you give the new brother some breathing room? Break it up, Clanks. Unless you want a one-way ticket to solitary. No charge. We're all fine here, Stenger. We don't need another accident. I suggest you find a way to cool off, D-Town. Show's over. The guys are caught, I'm telling you. I see you again. I'll parade your bot ass all over the yard. You hear me? Hell, new shine. Look at you. Making a good first impression already. I like that. I'm not sure everyone agrees with you. What, D-Town? Nah, pay no mind. He's not allowed to hate on the guards, so he just hates on everyone else instead. So I should watch my back. Thanks for the advice. Ain't the inmates gonna kill you in the penthouse, brother. It's the guards. Stenger and his crew be stirring up trouble all day, every day. Why would they do that? Pissing us off is just gonna make their job harder. It's like a game to them. They bait us into breaking the rules and kill us when we cross the line. Been worse since they murdered Wilbur. Let me get this straight. The guards are murdering inmates for fun. Mm-hmm. Wilbur's just the latest brother to die for no good reason other than whatever Stenger was thinking. Just you wait, new shine. The time's coming. We augs need to stand together, not apart. Know what I'm saying? This Wilberg, you say, was murdered. What happened to him? Got himself cut in half by an automated sentry over in B-Block. Official word was malfunction. Unofficial word is Stinger. Must have gotten tired of the swing Wilberg had. Sounds like Wilberg was a big deal. He was the king for a lot of folks in here. Full gangster, kosher nostra. 
been hooking and crooking since most of these guys were still dancing in their daddy's balls. Him getting taken out like that has all the brothers fired up. They can't just kill us like we're cattle anymore. All level two inmates, return to your cells immediately. Your outdoor time is over. Say, you don't look so good. Feeling the choke from the suppression chip Stenger put inside you, huh? It's a rare kind of pain, ain't it? I've dealt with pain before. I'm sure I'll find a way to deal with it again. That's up to you. But I'd strongly advise you look for someone we call the Fixer. He's an inmate like you and me, but he was a doctor on the outside. He can give you a little something for the pain. Last warning, Planks. All level two inmates back to your cells. Now! Level two, that's me, brother. The yard's yours. Enjoy your time in the sun. If you need me for something, swing by 212. Cell A212, got it. Did you think you could trust this Dr. Flossie mentioned? Did you feel nervous or suspect something was wrong? There was a chance he was walking me into something, yeah. Then I didn't know how long it would take to find Guerrero. But losing the choke wasn't such a bad idea either. I had to think it through. Yes, well, sometimes wart. Cut up version of Wurt Mueller? It's German, from my father. He said to always insist on the umlauts. Otherwise, people butcher the pronunciation. So often butchered it, no matter what I did. Sorry to hear that. It's not your fault. You, you haven't gotten it wrong, not once. I like that about you, Mr. Mr. Walters. No umlauts. I'm here because Flossie sent me. He wants it now? But I... Uh, I don't have it. N not here. Mr. Flossie made it very clear. I internalized the words when someone like him asks someone like me to do something. Well, as you can see... The gate! The gate! Delivery must wait! If this delivery is important to Flossie, I could help. Did he tell you to tell me to tell you? Irregular. But possible. Because your name is German, like my name, but yours. Simpler. Stronger. An old warrior's name. Yeah, well, this old warrior's seen better days. Now I'm just trying to facilitate things if I can. <laughs> Aren't we all, Mr. Walters? It's the temptation that concerns me once a man holds it in his hands with... We're not made of plush. Can you promise to deliver it? I'm not looking to make enemies. If I can help a guy like Fossey get his hands on something he needs, maybe he can help me. Very well. It's, a uh, cell. 309. Be careful. Don't tell Tony I told you. They, they know me. Know that if someone wants something from me, all they have to do is ask. Okay, cell A309. I'll see what I can do. There's something else. The pain I've been feeling since getting processed. Apparently you're some kind of doctor. Suppose I am that. Yes. Dr. Vart Mueller. There was a brass sign on the door. It was deeply engraved. But that's in the past. I'm here now, specializing in the side effects of suppression. The, the choke. Stinger's procedure, the chip they install on us. How does it work exactly? A pain equals energy exerted. Man uses an iron lung to breathe, zap! His heart beats mechanical. Zap! He lifts his alloy arms over his head because Mr. Stenger tells him to. Zap, 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 yeah, I felt it. And you found a way to make these reactions go away? 
A combination of liquids, yes, and crushed powders in tablet form. Small enough to stuff down a child's throat. Enough to pass around without Mr. Stanger knowing. All you had to do was ask. You expect me to swallow some magic pill without knowing what it is? I'm not even sure you know what it is. It's a drug made up of uh, diamorphine and uh, fentanyl and oxycodone and quinine and pethidine and uh, hydromorphone and... Just tell me what it does. It does what most drugs do. It numbs the pain. Makes us feel stronger than we are. Stronger? Could it help a man get access to his hogs again? Exactly, yes. When a man takes it, he feels... Uh, regains access to parts of himself thought lost. Importantly, use of illicit energy is no longer punishable by... by uh, Mr. Flossie specified that that, that that was the key, he said. And, and offer it to anyone who asks. I think I like the idea of feeling like myself again. That, that's a wise choice. Here, take one. Uh, uh, just the one. Uh, one for everyone. Oh, and uh, side effects? Yes. Uh, there's the possibility of drowsiness and, and, and drowsy mouth. Uh, uh, occasionally. Uh, the greatest danger would, would arguably, be long-term total unknown. MA-524-1074, Ward Mulker. Report to the infirmary immediately. Ward Mulker to the infirmary. <sighs> That's not correct at all. Uh, Mr. Walters, uh, really, it's the first, the first five minutes I'd be most worried about. Those are the most crucial. I'm surprised you took the fixer's pill. Weren't you worried about the side effects? The pill messed with my vision, but it removed the pain caused by the choke. Even more, it also restored access to a few of my ox. As far as I was concerned, it was worth it. Still, that was quite a gamble. Have you felt anything since? Changes in mood, headaches, memory loss? I can only think of one headache right now, Doctor. So let me get this straight. Flossie was smuggling a biocell inside a stuffed toy. Were you tempted to use it yourself? There was a good chance the biocell would have given me access to my ox, but it was clearly intended for Flossie. Not taking it to him could have jeopardized our relationship and the job. Fix his heart. New shine. Didn't think I was going to see you again so soon. 
Is a social call or you're here for something in particular? Actually, I picked something up you might be interested in. A customized bio cell. Couldn't have been easy to come by. Now how the fuck... And what do you know about it? I know that whatever it's for, it made the Fixer pretty nervous. And judging by your reaction, I know it's worth something to you. Fixer, huh? Well, I guess there ain't no point in being mad about it. Not your regular kind of thinker, if you know what I'm saying. So you're looking to deal, that it? Got something on your mind? I was wondering how someone might go about getting into B-Block. That so? Normal circumstances, I'd ask why, but seeing as you got something I need, we'll just say your business is your business. Just need a way to the other side. You strike me as a resourceful guy. That I am. So can you help me or not? Matter of fact, Nushan, I think we can help each other. A friend of mine is sitting on B-side, name of Red Shoes. You make sure he gets that bio cell, and I'll be most grateful. Right. Only problem is, I forgot to pack my walkthrough walls augmentation. Packed a smart mouth, though, didn't you? I got you covered, brother. Here. Keys to the castle. Calibrated to the security refresh from yesterday. Should get you through most doors with a card reader. I'd still keep my head down, though. Unless you want to hang with Wilberg in the morgue. All right. So this Red Shoes, how will I recognize him? Judging by the lack of fashion in here. Hey, my man. Present company excluded, of course. But I can assume Red Shoes isn't actually wearing red shoes, so what am I looking for? Let's just say Red Shoes is real good at getting himself in trouble. You'll find him in one of the cool-off cages. Just keep your ears open, New Shine. You'll know him when you hear him. Trust me. Red Shoes don't like to be kept waiting. Did you use the keycard Flossie gave you? What if it set off the alarms? The keycard was the only clear advantage I had to reach Agent Guerrero in cell block B. It was a risk worth considering. The modified biocell you were carrying could have given you an advantage too. You still weren't prepared to use it? Being able to use my odds would have helped a lot. But there was no telling what would happen if I didn't take the biocell to Red Shoes as Flossie wanted. I had a choice to make. You forget something? When I spoke to the Fixer, he seemed... off. Like he missed a couple of software updates. Don't make the same mistake as everyone else in here. Judging a man by what you see is only half the story. The Fixer might seem strange, sure. But he's helping work towards real change. By pushing dope? There you go with that judgment again. That so-called dope is a big help to the Augs in here. It's a big help to the Fixer, too. It's a shield. So many of the brothers need his product, everyone leaves him well enough alone. What's the point of protecting the Fixer if you're just gonna force him to do whatever you want instead? I'm not forcing anybody. Just offering strong advice. And what happens if someone ignores that advice? I don't know, Nushan. They never did. I used to run with someone in here. Name's Oscar Mejia. You know him? Mejia, huh? Well, that's why you're looking to get to B-side. Yeah, I know him. He's what you'd call a social butterfly, real chatty. Truth is, I haven't seen him much since he moved to B-Block. Last time we spoke, he seemed pretty shook up about Wilbur. They were friends? Like I said, social butterfly. He's the one who found Wilbur dead after that sentry messed him up. When we talked in the yard, you said something to Stenger about an accident. What did you mean? I told you. Thanks to Stenger and his guards, dying's real easy if you don't watch yourself. Killing Wilberg was a surprise, though. Normally, the assholes just set you up for a terminal violation. Terminal? Is it executed? Mm-hmm. You get busted for a TBI and straight to solitary for a 24-hour death sentence. And what kind of infractions warrant summary executions? Used to be just the hard stuff. Killing another brother, that sort of thing. Now, though, seems like anything Stinger goddamn pleases will have you sent to cell number six. Spend the night in that hole, you ain't never seen again. This is starting to sound like a ghost story just to spook the new guys. Why would Stinger do that? I don't see the point. Maybe the point is he doesn't need a point. 
Maybe he's just a sadistic fucking coward who hides behind that seal on the prison door like it's a goddamn suit of armor. All I know is, this place needs burning to the ground. Stenger can't get away with this shit forever. Things are gonna change real soon, I guarantee it. I should go. I'll see you around. Dance all night, she got nothing to lose. Little red shoes, little red shoes. She gave up her legs for her little red shoes. Now she dance all. You red shoes? Who the hell are you? How did you get on this side? I had something for you. Special delivery, compliments of A Block. It's happening? Now? He actually did it? I knew it! I told the guys Flossie was straight, man. This fucking slaughterhouse is gonna burn. It's time for some respect. Come on, let me have it. Slow down. I'm looking for Mejia. Tell me where he is, and I'll think about handing it over. Mejia? Uh, he's usually on cleaning duty in the showers about now. Look, whatever, man. Just give me the cell. Let's get this party started. Here you go. Idea. I missed being me. <laughs> Tell Flossie he's the fucking king. We owe him big time. When the time is right, shit's gonna go down. You'll see. So you made it into B-Block. I can't imagine you started knocking on cell doors asking for Oscar Mejia. Not exactly, no. I knew I had to keep searching. As long as I stayed out of sight, I'd find a way. I don't care when the center target is. Just stop. If B-Block is currently under investigation, it means it's not permitted nope. near the crime I'm not scene. thinking about that shit. I get paid to be a guard. I'm not getting the best. 
you're not at all curious. No. They asked us to make sure nobody messes with the scene. That is exactly what I'm doing. You really don't care. Nope. When my shift ends, I'm watching the game. You can do whatever you want. Lost Columbus, because you're looking for trouble wearing that here. Benny Machado. Friends call him Big Yacht. You know him? Big Yacht? Jesus. Haven't heard that name for... 26 months. 20? Wow. It's been that long, huh? So, do you know him or not? Yeah, I know him. Look, we can skip the cloak and dagger. No harm playing by the book, but this far out, the bosses can't hear us anyway. What are you doing here? I'm with Interpol. Walters, TF-29. There's a potential terror threat. We need you to help us. Whoa, whoa! Back up! You're here to pull me out? For a potential threat? You think I'm working on my fucking tan in here? I'm Dark Opal, remember? Do not contact under any circumstances. We think this could be serious. Maybe the intel we have is a little thin, but it clearly suggests attacks are possible against several pro AUG groups. I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. Did I just hear you admit TF-29's intel might be bullshit? Uh, you're a breath of fresh air, man. I think I like you already. Look, if just one of these threats pans out, we're talking thousands of potential lives lost. Isn't it our job to protect them? Yes, but TF-29's intel is wrong. It always is. Walters, what I'm doing in here is too important. No offense, but I'm not pulling out for a mate. Sorry. I wouldn't have come all the way out here if I didn't feel this was important. Hey, I understand. I'm not attacking you. Unlike our clueless bosses back home, I know exactly what you went through just to get here. What's all this got to do with me anyway? I'm organized crime, not terrorism. Interpol knows that. We arrested two suspects on an odd smuggling charge. They let slip about the attack during interrogation, but now they won't talk. We've ID'd them as members of the junkyard gang, Dembrowski and Martin. Jesus, are you kidding me? Dembrowski and Martin? That's like Laurel and Hardy planning the moon landings. No wonder they're not saying anything. They don't know shit. This terror threat of yours? It's nothing but hot air, Walters. All right, so maybe you know someone who can give us a better lead. You've been inside junkyard for two years now, Agent Guerrero. You know these guys better than anybody. Agent Guerrero? Come on, man. You sound like one of them talking. We're not like them. Call me Mejia. Fine, Mejia. We need to get you transferred out of here as soon as possible, so you can talk- I told you I can't. Look, Walters. Junkyard is... It's taken years to get them to trust me. If you knew what I- <laughs> oh! Been a while since I boot fucked the door. Haven't lost my touch. Hello, boys. This a private part? This has nothing to do with you, Stinger. You should not mind your own business. Oh, I am. I think our friend here will understand that. Friend? Oscar Mejia, I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Ian Wilberg. Cook this beaner. Man, whatever the hell! <laughs> Oaks! So help me God! What?
He's up. Stanger, he's up. About goddamn time. Gonna get a look at him. Move. You and me, we need to talk. Get out of here. Make sure no one bothers us. But, but Chief, what about the riot? I sit out, dipshit! Look, Walters. What happened in the shower was a mistake, all right? But it wasn't my fault. If Junkyard would have told me you were coming, none of this would have happened. Junkyard. Then you know why they sent me. Yeah, I know. But I can fix this. God damn it. Didn't I tell you guys something was gonna happen? Mejia runs hot, I said. Too much passion. Sure enough, he went off script and put the entire operation at risk. I swear. I'm the only one in here who knows what he's doing. Good job figuring me out. What say you give me an update on the operation? Soon as I saw you in processing, I knew you were Junkyard MVP. Nice to finally meet someone who appreciates the skill set I bring to this outfit. Just wish you'd have come to me first. Well, I'm here now. Give me all the details. Is the operation compromised? It's gonna be fine, don't worry. If anything, we can turn Mejia's fuck up into a plus. After we get this goddamn riot under control, we can probably multiply the merchandise by a factor of... Ten. Hell, it'll all just be lying out there. Where's Mejia now? I got that covered, don't you worry. He's squared away in a solitary on a TVI. Tighter than a sheep's asshole when the shepherd stinks of wine. <laughs> He'll be dead this time tomorrow. Dead tomorrow? That's not acceptable. Junkyard needs Mejia alive. I want to speak with him now. No disrespect, F.A., but you being a VIP and all, I don't think that's a good idea. Since your boy went and killed Wilberg, the prison's gone to complete shit with these filthy-ass Augs tearing up the place. No offense. Isn't the prison designed to stop something like this? What happened? Frederick Flossie happened. Budget Malcolm X type. Educated just past his ABCs. So I guess that about makes him a fucking genius in here. Yeah, we met. The inmates obviously look up to him. Word is he managed to smuggle a biocell to one of his cronies. Stupid clank bastard jammed it up his asshole and went nuts. Got into the bio cells in lockup after killing the guards on duty, and et voila. I don't get it. The choke was supposed to kick in, but it's like it's 2027 all over again. What do you expect? You push a chip inside them, take away what they are. Trust me, that'll piss off any AUG. Yeah, sorry about that. But again, if Junkyard would have told me you were coming, no matter. I got a riot response team on the way that'll be more than happy to push their shit in for them. Boss, cell block is clear. Looks like most of the trouble is towards the admin building. Ah, it'll be fine. They're just fucking Augs. There's no way they can take the entire prison. Woo! Frederick Flossie coming at you live! You out there, Stenger? Time's up for you and your goon assholes, motherfucker! Christ on a cracker! <sighs> Sorry, Walters. You'll need to stay here. The guards are going to be shooting inmates on sight, and the last thing we need is you getting drilled. Oaks! Get to admin and do something about that fucking PA. I've got something to take care of first. I'll meet you there. So, you let Stenger believe that you were with Junkyard. Why not break cover, now that Guerrero's life is on the line? Stenger was into something dirty. There was no telling what he would do to protect himself. It was better I stayed under and got into solitary on my own. But you still had to make your way through a prison riot to do that. Then it was a good thing I had use of my augs. I was gonna need them.
Shoes started handing out bio cells. No shit. Red Shoes did it? No way he did it alone. I heard there was one inmate who helped him out. Who? I don't know. Whoever it was, they're a hero. Some ducks in here. You're thinking too. Yeah, yes, sir, Mr. Stenger. Whatever you say. Mr. Walters? You found me. Uh, hiding in my hole. Uh, of course, uh, not much of a surprise. I'm where they told me to be. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm starting to think I need to get used to that. Uh, when last we spoke, uh, the PA called me by name to the infirmary, they said. A lot's happened since then. The Rising, yes. Mr. Flossie didn't fabricate feelings out of nothing, though he does have a way of, of uh, fashioning frustrations and, and, and uh, coordinating courage. He can be very comprehensible. Flossie, huh? He orchestrates others. Uh, you and I, we, we know this already because we tampered precisely like he asked, which makes us part of it. I can imagine Flossie being persuasive enough to incite something like this. The part I don't get is why. Well, a man's motives mean nothing to me. I... I don't think to ask. Best planned uprising in the world, it's still suicide. It's not gonna help anyone get off this rock. But certainly not, no. Most men have given up hope of leaving, and even with my special biocells, they can't sustain. Meaning... Any inmates who use them are bound to burn out long before the law. So it is suicide. That's... that's not the word Mr. Flossie used. <laughs> that tampered biocell I delivered for Flossie, what was it exactly? Source of energy, more makeshift than what they ever took from us. Made with seven strains of Teddy's love could give a man access again to what he was. Without which, Mr. Flossie says, we are nothing. And me handing it over to Red Shoes? That had something to do with the riot starting? 
Integral, yes. Gave him the ability to cloak through all their measures to liberate the violence that was locked away. And flood both blocks with power and, 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 and we're all just swimming in it now. Yeah, we're all drowning. What about that suppression chip all the inmates have installed? Isn't that supposed to keep something like this from happening? The choke chokes, yes. When we exert energy, and it will mitigate. Will hurt like all hell any man who tries to use his augs to the full extent that any tampering could allow. Unless, of course, he got my fix. Your fix? The drug you've been handing out? It was designed with the riot in mind? Yes. Mr. Flossie wanted them to be ready. So, a prison full of drugged up and pissed off convicts with unmitigated access to their augs. At no point did that seem like a bad idea to you? At no point did Mr. Flossie ask me to formulate an opinion. Okay, so formulate one now. Uh, I... I think it's exciting. So now what, you sit tight and hide while all hell breaks loose outside? I... I fix for kicks. Make myself available. Whenever someone needs, I'm here to help. What kind of help are you offering? Well, let's see. A man like yourself, man of the world. I, I, uh, well, I do have one last pill. Lint-laced, but still. Still good. Good at making a man feel like himself. Interested? I've been feeling the effects of that pill of yours. It hasn't all been positive. Uh, the vision thing. It's... it's when the eyes burn behind. Not everyone likes it. How long are these side effects gonna last? Oh, that. That's a very good question. Great. You got an answer? I'm afraid not, no. I liked what the first pill did. All right, let's roll the dice a second time. This... this is exhilarating! Only man to take more than one is... is me. <laughs> Mr. Flossie told me to, to test and get it right. I, uh... I took a lot. Whatever doesn't kill us. Oh, it shouldn't kill you, no. It... it might, but probably not. Pretty sure. Like, 61% sure. You can still see, right? Yeah, it never felt better. Hold on. So you're saying you took the fixer's pill again? Without knowing the long-term side effects? Weren't you worried? Everyone trusts the doctor, right? Anything else, you should really talk to Teddy. Experimental pills are my thing, but he's the one with the brain for business. You want me to talk to your stuffed toy? He told me to tell you to talk to him. He wants you to know he's got the shit. His, his words, not mine. All right, I'll go see what Teddy's got. Oh, and uh, Teddy says no hard feelings about the head. He would have done the same. Teddy, let's see what you got.
length of your sentence. So, Agent Guerrero was still alive in solitary when you found him. What happened next? It turned out the security systems controlling the door's locking mechanisms were offline. I needed to reset them in the server room below solitary. Once that was done, I could use the console in the security office to unlock his door. Officers are authorized to use lethal force to subdue all non-compliant inmates. Granted. Thank you. 
high-toned son of a bitch, you cave for me. Come on, open the door and let's roll. We're not going anywhere, Agent. Not until you fill me in. Fill you in? Stenga's trying to kill me, Walters. You want my help dealing with those terrorist attacks? We have to leave. So now you're willing to help? You might have gotten yourself on death row, Mejia, but a few more minutes isn't gonna change anything. Stenger filled me in. Said you've gone off the rails, and he's the better man for the job. Your job, with Junkyard. Mind explaining that? It's... better you don't get involved. If I don't get involved, you'll be dead tomorrow. And any chance of stopping those terror attacks will die with you. Now talk. Okay, look. I don't know what Stenger told you, but I guarantee it's all lies. Two years ago, Interpol got worried about a new player at the table. Junkyard. They needed eyes and ears on the inside, so they threw me into the deep end to go fishing. And you hooked something big. It took a while, but I eventually sniffed out that JY was into black market augs. A lot of augs. And I wanted to know where they were getting them. No points for guessing the answer. This prison. It's the operation Stenger was talking about. Ding ding, Walthers. He's been running the show for a while now. Using the system to cover up a harvesting scheme. Inmates are pushed over the line, given a death sentence, and end up the next day with their augs ripped out by Wirthmuller in the morgue. The Fixer is involved in this too? You're surprised? He's Stenger's little butcher boy. Whatever the man wants, War cuts it out. If you and Stenger are both supposed to be playing the same side, why would he want you out of the picture? Stenger's got power in here, but he's not Junkyard yet. He's always resented the fact I was jumped in. With me gone, he thinks he can take my place on the ladder. I don't know. He doesn't strike me as the kind of man who can run something like this. Oh, you'd be surprised. A hammer ain't sharp, but it can still get the job done. I got J.Y. to send me in. But make no mistake, with the power of the so-called justice system behind him, this is Stenger's ship. Who and what gets harvested? It's his call. No one tried to stop him? Stenger can't murder inmates at will without someone taking notice. He can when he hides behind the state of Arizona's terminal violation policy. It's okay to destroy a dangerous AUG, right? Especially one in prison. Lately, though, three strikes for pretty much anything will get you a trip to hole six. So Flossie was right. Sounded like he was spinning me a story. No joke, Walthus. Stenger moves the bodies from here to be carved up at the infirmary by the Fixer. They use maintenance tunnels under the prison to keep it all out of sight. I'd be dead and diced by sunrise if it wasn't for you. Stenger seems convinced you killed Wilberg. You're saying you weren't involved at all? What? What are you talking about? I told you. Stenger has it in for me. I wasn't even near Wilberg's cell that day. I was on shift cleaning that fucking shower like always. Besides, the sentry took him out. Do I look like a fucking robot to you? If you hadn't declared yourself Dark Opal, we would have been able to contact you without all this trouble. Why didn't you just tell Interpol what was going on and let them deal with it? I went Dark Opal so the suits couldn't fuck things up. Interpol isn't interested in the long game anymore. They want immediate results. So it's okay for you if this harvesting ring continues? That's not what I'm saying. Junkyard have some impressive shit going on. If we let them know we're onto them now, they'll just vanish somewhere else and I'll lose what I've been working for all this time. So we just insert another agent. We did it once, we can do it again. It's not that easy. Interpol pushed me under what? Two years ago and I'm only just starting to reap the rewards. Junkyard are huge on loyalty from both sides. Trust me, it takes time and pays well to look after that. All right, I've heard enough. Terror attack or not, you're not doing anyone any favors by dying in this cell. Time to leave. I ain't gonna argue with that. Lead the way, Jose. You got an escape plan? The transport I came in on yesterday should still be on the roof. Can you fly? No need. The prison birds run on automated flight paths to stop hijackers. We can just hack the route. As long as the security systems are shut down, we'll be free to fly out of here and sip pina coladas all the way to Panama. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll take care of the flight path. No, let me go to the tower. I know where to break into the system. Old school. 
I'll have just enough time while you handle the rest. There are two turrets on the roof, and an aircraft tracking system that you'll need to disable. There's an override in the warden's office. All right, what about Stenger? As long as he doesn't get to JY before I do, there's no problem. Hey, uh... I'm happy you're here, man. You have no idea. I'll see you at the landing pad. Good luck. Task Force protocols dictate that you should have called for an immediate extraction. Going against protocol could have jeopardized the mission. I used to work in a factory. This is my first time around heavy equipment. You sure you can handle that thing? It's hard to make a fast getaway, but it's fun as fuck. Just don't shoot my ass by mistake. to make it happen and call me back. I'm done with waiting. Hey, new shine. Ain't this a surprise? Looks like you're celebrating. Sure am. And I deserve it. You think anyone else could have pulled this off? Got the brothers to come together, take this place for our own. So the king emerges. Couldn't have been easy. Nothing worth it ever is. It would have been harder if you hadn't made that delivery to Red Shoes. I owe you one, new shine. I don't like being used. Oh, come on. You got what you wanted, so did I. Everything worked out just fine. Maybe some grudges got settled along the way, so what? Change is always painful. Or do you have a problem with the way I do things? How or why you do things isn't my business. That's right, it ain't. You haven't experienced what life in the penthouse is really like. From what I heard, you were moving on again in a couple of days. Plans change. I need to leave now. Look at you getting shit done. Spit it out, brother. Something I can help you with? I need access to the transport's tracking system. It's here in the warden's office. Go right ahead and do whatever you need, brother. I'm just waiting on my interview. This is fun, but I'd still rather be getting out of here.
So, when you saw Stenger and Wirthmuller arguing on the security monitor, it sounded like Guerrero might be there. But didn't he say he was going to the tower to reroute the flight path? Why would he go to the infirmary? I had the same question, Doctor. Guerrero was obviously hiding something, but I needed to take a trip to the infirmary if I wanted to know what it was. So, with both the tracking system and the turrets shut down, you just needed to get to the landing pad, is that right? You've got the report right in front of you, Doctor. Why don't you tell me? I'd rather hear it from here. Please! Don't be angry! I told you not to come here. I... I did what you said. Mr. Stenger, he's... he's very... I can't stay here now. I want to leave. I... I... I insist. Sorry, Wart. Should have done this a long time ago. What the hell is going on with here? Walthus. I... We got a problem. Wartmuller knows who we are. Do I... not know that? This isn't good. Can't I just keep doing things like I've been? Everything you wanted me to... Shut up. He's trying to blackmail me. Found out what we're really doing here. He's a threat, man. We can't leave him here alive. The, the veracity is questionable. Don't fall for his act, Walters. He'll say anything to get what he wants. All the attempts to blackmail, manipulate, he's not what he seems. I need you to trust me on this. trust you to execute someone. The Fixer's not the threat here, Mejia. Just put the gun down, come back to base, and help us with the intel we need. If you're right and it comes to nothing, what have you lost? Everything. You don't get it, do you? The Fixer's fucking evil. You have any idea what he's capable of? The things he's done? If we leave him alive, he'll ruin it all. I'm trying to protect us. I, intellectually? It's... It's just maddening. Keep your mouth shut. Don't you see? This is what he does. The pills, the riot. He, he manipulates people, man. Worms his way into everything and makes it sick. This is that is like an idiot to seem harmless. It's all bullshit. I'm not sure I believe that. And even if I did, it doesn't mean you get to shoot him. Fine. Then you fucking shoot him. He's as big a threat to you as he is to me. If we don't kill him, our cover's blown. Jesus, man. You're actually willing to jeopardize an agent for... What? This sociopath? Stop pretending this is all about your cover with Interpol. You want to kill the Fixer for the same reason you killed Wilburg. To protect your interest with Junkyard. He recorded you both arguing about it. I heard everything. The job was to get as deep as possible with Junkyard. Running that harvesting off kept me as close as I could. I needed to keep up the act. That's a lie. If Wilbur was a real threat to you, you could have called Interpol. You had options. You chose not to take them. Look, I'm not the enemy, Walters. He is. Everything that gets people killed in this place, he's at the heart of it. He's the one whispering revolution in Flossie's ear. He's the one carving up bodies. And as for Stenger, why don't you ask him? Mr. Stenger is very dead. All of him. This place is violent, yes, and moldy, and, and they always get your name wrong. And I want to leave now. I... I want to go where you're going. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Bust you out so you can stick your forked little tongue in everyone's ear. He's smarter than we are, man. Put him in a room with Interpol, and they'll eat up every one of his lies. We can't let that happen. Please, Walthus, remember who we are. I need to know you've got my back.
This isn't about the Fixer anymore, Mejia. Forget the job or Interpol or terror threats. This is about you, an agent. It's about a man who needs to remember why he's really here. He shouldn't forget who he is, what he's constructed. I was told to infiltrate Junkyard. I'm supposed to maintain my cover at all costs. You were supposed to expose them, but I think you've forgotten that part. You've been left in the dark too long, but you can still come back. Help us do our jobs, Hector. Come back before it's too late. Don't you dare use that name, office. Hector is fucking dead. It's two years too late for a pep talk. Interpol doesn't get to throw me in the deep end and then tell me I swam out too far. I'm not speaking to you as Interpol. I'm speaking to you as a fellow agent. I know what it's like to play two sides. To get so caught up in the lies you start believing them. The price we pay to get close to something that's out of reach. I didn't get close. I got in. Less than two years at JY accepted me. Trusted me. That's where their strength comes from. From loyalty. From recognition. Six years with Interpol, and I still needed a keycard to piss. I get it. I've been there. Balancing loyalties isn't easy. Playing someone you're not. Doing things you don't believe in to keep up appearances. You and me are the same now? You've been under one day. I've been under... what? You said yourself, 26 months? You have no idea the choices I had to make. I did things. Revealed things Interpol won't forgive. I'm not going back. It was never going to be easy. There's a reason guys like us get asked to infiltrate the places we do. It's because there's some part of us that doesn't have to pretend. Believe me, I've been where you are. Holding a gun to someone's head. You still have choices you can make. You're gonna have to tell me what they are, man. Interpol expects me to be someone I'm not. Junkyard expects me to keep being someone that only makes sense in here. Either way, I gotta pretend. And either way, someone comes after me. What am I supposed to do? Help us. Help me. Come back with me as an agent. An agent who made mistakes and who's willing to recognize them. What if I can't? They look me in the eyes, man, and they'll see I'm not one of them anymore. But I know they'll listen. As long as you prove to them, you can still be a positive force. Helping us with this terrorist threat will go a long way. After that, if all you want in return is a ticket out, I don't see how they can say no. I trust you. What about Worth Mueller? If he didn't know too much before, he sure as hell does now. Leave me alone with him. I'll make the call. I... I... I think he's broken. I'm starting to think everyone is. It's the institution. These walls weren't designed with serenity in mind. No, they weren't. They were designed to hold people and keep them from getting out. For good reason, most of the time. Most of the time, yes. Except you two. You were different. You wanted to be here. Just how much do you know? How worried should I be? I know there's no such thing as Walders or Mejia. I know you were both sent here to pretend, and I know, at some point, one of you forgot he was pretending. And are you planning on sharing this information? Anyone who knows me knows. It's not my nature to plan anything. You were able to keep Flossie's plans to yourself, and you played a part in Junkyard's operation, an operation not a lot of people knew about. So I know you've kept secrets before. It's easier when no one suspects. If no one suspects, no one asks. People tend not to give me a lot of credit. <laughs> is that all it is? If someone asks you something, you have no choice but to tell them the truth? To do whatever they tell you? Father taught me to obey. Some men remind me more than others. Makes it hard to disappoint. 
Men like Flossie, like Stenger, like Mejia. Men like wolves. No shortage of them in here. No shortage of them anywhere. I'm not sure who's in more danger here, you or everyone stuck here with you. But this definitely isn't a good place for you to be. What? Wh where are we going? I don't know about the we yet, but wherever you end up, you're gonna have to be more selective in who you're willing to do things for, and more selective in the things you're willing to do. Uh, yeah, that, that, that sounds complicated. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. Just stay away from hurting other people. Try not to let them hurt you. Anything you say, Jack. What did you do? Adam? Excuse me? You were saying you found Agent Guerrero on the roof holding Worthmuller at gunpoint. What did you do? I feel like I've answered this question already. Time can change a lot of things, Adam. Especially memories. I know you don't like doing this, but it helps. Both of us. Please. How did you resolve the confrontation with Agent Guerrero? I brought Agent Guerrero back with me. Whatever he was, he was still an agent worth saving, with or without the intel. Wait. So, to be absolutely clear, you brought him back? That's what I said. Is there a problem with the file? I... There's no record of... The report doesn't say where he ended up exactly, but that's not unusual. He was a valuable asset, and the information I have is limited, so... Have you... Have you had any contact with Agent Guerrero since? No. After settling our differences, I... He's no longer my responsibility. I don't know where he's gone. Okay. Well, you've been through so much these past months, and it's keeping things up to date. It's an ongoing process. Something we'll continue working through together. That's it. No more questions. I have more than I need for now. Thank you so much for coming in like this, Adam. I know it's not your favorite thing in the world, but... It's been very useful, making sure we're all on the same page. What's wrong, Adam? Is there something else you want to say? Yeah. I have a question for you, Doc. If you were in my position, if you had a feeling, a suspicion, that the agent in front of you was bad, and you could take them out, right there, right then, no questions asked, would you do it? I suppose it depends on what you think you know, Adam. If I really felt, deep down, that the person in front of me was no longer on my side, then maybe I would. Understanding when to pull that trigger is the single most important instinct an agent can possess. <laughs> you know, Guerrero was right. About what? The terror attack. Never happened. Gotta wonder what else he was right about. <laughs> <laughs>